We're Victor and Joanna, and over the last year we've transformed this narrow boat from rusty wreck to a floating coffee shop. Now we've set off to start our journey on the long and winding British canals. Join us as we take on the challenges that our new floating venture has to offer. <laughs> Good morning, that's a very good light. Good morning, so today I'm gonna test out Holly. I haven't baked anything on Holly yet, so it's quite nerve wracking, uh, just because if things don't work, if it doesn't work out, or if it's like, I don't know, a bad oven, then um, it's not gonna be that good for the business. So we'll see. I'm wearing my slippers in here because the floor is just so cold because we don't have it the fire on all the time like we do on zero. Ooh, it's exciting, isn't it? I imagine, this is what I imagined when we were doing the cafe boat. Many a day spent like this, listening to a podcast and baking. This is such a weird look. It looks a bit like Star Wars. The oven is preheating. I've lined my baking trays. So now I just have to do it. I'm gonna party until I drop. When I begin, I don't know how to stop. I can party on until the morning comes. The sun goes up, we don't stop, no. This is the bit where we have to check the inverter because that's on quite a high whipping speed. Not entirely sure if that's good or bad, but at least the batteries aren't empty. Ooh. I think we can see what the main problem is there, is that the boat's listing. So the mixture went like that. I might be able to like counteract it, but we're gonna have to sort out the level of the boat, I think, for these cakes to come out even. <laughs> I'm gonna party until I drop. I'm not looking for love, I'm looking for fun. Just because I have on skin tight jeans doesn't mean I need a man to save me. I do it all for fun. Looking hot in my five or ones. Don't you know I tease and I need to please? It's not perfect. Oh, you got something on you. Bit of meringue. It's not perfect um, level-wise, but it's not bad. I would eat that. I am going to eat that. This is probably the first cake of its... I mean, a little bit presumptuous, I suppose, but it could be the first cake that's ever been baked on this boat, isn't it? Oh my God! <laughs> <laughs> oh my God, that's incredible. Oh, that's nice. You don't even know yet, you haven't tasted it. Yeah, but look at it. <laughs> We're I'm so oh excited God. for this. That is... Obvious wonky layers. <laughs> I think that's being a bit harsh. <laughs> <laughs> it's, not, it's not what I'd say. If somebody cut me and beat a slice of cake and it looked like that, I wouldn't be like, wonky layers. <laughs> it looks incredibly light. Oh, it's really light. It's a, it's a genuine genuine's base. So what is talking It's a vanilla cake with a dark chocolate meringue buttercream. Okay. Well, it's a vanilla like sponge. God, that is light and spongy. That is delicious. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> this makes me glad that we did this. Yeah. <laughs> I think, oh, okay, all right, yeah. Makes sense now. I'm pleased it went well. And also excited because yeah. who's in catering business? <laughs> it's little things like this that make it all worthwhile. <laughs> I'll just tell you what's happening. We're getting ready to move because we've got to go and get water. Um, and drop off our bins, but mainly get water. 
Um, Vic has kindly volunteered to go down the weed hatch and sort out whatever was around the prop when we got here. I would have done it, but it just felt like this job needed someone who knew that prop a little better. Pop that down there. That's going to be cold. Yeah. Okay. Let's see what's going on. Oof. Oh man, that is. That is very, very cold. <laughs> but there's a big uh, rope. Is there? Wrapped around it, yeah. This is like Wim Hof. Just breathe through it, I'm pretty sure. That's what he says. Woo! Yeah, it's freezing, it's so cold. isn't it yeah it's never nice it's never you never pull up something from the weed hatch that's like oh <laughs> <laughs> look at this treasure it's aladdin's cave down there this is what was oh at least we gained a Ooh. fender out of it that was what was doing all the clunking oh, around wasn't it? a whole fender yay lucky ass maybe we should just take one boat yeah and just go up and then come back should we just do that let's do that we are ready and off, yes? Yeah, without any further ado. Oh, we didn't even take the bins. Oh. Just had to do a quick operation there to retrieve the bins from Holly because we nearly forgot. We've got behind us our friends Ben and Sylvie, they're the home oak on Instagram. We're sharing the lock with them because it's a pretty, it's a pretty uh, brutal lock at Western, so easier if there's two boats in it. It's deep. And Holly's on her own for a little bit. Uh, I love it when it's a green open field, but that could be summer over there. You just don't look at the trees. We're going to carry on up now. Those guys are stopping here for water. We're going to carry on up to Swarkston. Maybe get a little chilly on the go in the meantime. Right. But yeah, check those guys' boats out on uh, on Instagram. They're called the Home Oak. Um, they've got a really nice boat. Ben's a cabinet maker, and he's uh, he's really fitted out his boat nicely. He's also just lent me a chainsaw, which I'm pretty excited about. Good to hang out. my boring to say. What, in Swordston? Well, I feel like we can't now we've left Holly behind. Yeah, the temptation is just to carry on, isn't it? Always, yeah. Even when you know that that's going to be the case, you're like, no, oh, no, we'll leave Holly in the canoe back there because we'll, we'll come back.
Yeah, it is. <laughs> Fair attention to jump on then. <laughs> Is it further than you thought? Yeah. <laughs> Big damn. <laughs> yeah. feel quite high up after that lock. I think that lock was really deep, about 13 foot or something. Vic's kicking himself that we didn't bring Holly, but it's because we'd heard bad reviews of Swarkstone a little bit. Like bad reviews at the moment that the towpath's like extra, extra muddy and all this stuff. So we thought we'll just leave Holly, we'll turn around and go back. How'd you feel about Holly, leaving Holly there tonight? I don't like, I don't like it. Why, what's your worst case scenario? Somebody looks at her. <laughs> yeah, I don't like it. I know that it's quite nice there and stuff. Everybody's walked by seemed really nice, but I just think the canoe and the cafe boat just alone there together. It ain't right. Around back on Holly, it's probably about five in the morning. Um, teaches me a lesson. I couldn't sleep having left uh, Holly all alone here with the canoe, looking all abandoned. So that's the message. The moral of the story is don't do that again because you can't take it. But I've come back here, obviously, everything's completely fine. Uh, the boat's not on fire, or sinking, or being sort of overrun with marauders. It's just uh, been sat here completely peacefully. Uh, so that's good. I'm probably going to have a little bit of breakfast here now. Have a cup of tea. At least make use of the fact that we've turned it into a cafe. And then uh, I'll wait until... There's no moon tonight, so I'll wait until like a little bit of sunrise, probably, before I head off. Um, yeah, head off and uh, to reunite the fleet. Good morning. I'm on my way now. I'm on my way now to back to Swarkston Lock because Vic got up this morning at quarter to four. He held out until, and then he was like, I'm gonna go back and get Holly. So, I don't know if you can see, but it is snowing. I think I've forgotten my gloves as well. Just some lock facts while we wait. The good thing about these extra deep locks on this stretch is that they've got this little bridge across so you don't have to, you can't, so if you open this one you don't have to go all the way back there to like cross over on that. Sometimes quite dangerous because it's only got a railing on one side but these ones they have a little bridge here so you just have to cross over here. If you were opening it for two boats that is but I'm just going to open it one for Vic. That's what we normally do when there's just one boat, we just open one side and then keep the boat over to that side using the right sort of gate paddle and um, that other paddle, whatever you call it. Is it coming to me? No. Sluice, gate, gate sluice, gate paddle. There you go. But it looks very nice around here. I like all these little bridges. I like being near a little bridge like this. And then off towards that way is Swarkston, like the centre, Swarkston Bridge, over across to Melbourne and Kings Newton. And then up that way is the cycle path towards Chelliston and Derby. So we're pretty near like towns here, which is good. 
yet it still feels really countryside. -y. I'll be excited to see Vic coming around the corner though, because I didn't really want him to go on his own. But there was no stopping him, and there was no stopping me staying in bed at four o'clock this morning. Here he is, wet and weary, no doubt. Morning. Morning, Morning. you're right. Yeah, not too bad, thank you. Good. How are you? Yeah, good. It's really cold, Oh, yeah, I bet. Wow, it's really snowing. Yeah. Can you feel your face? Oh, look at him. put the camera away now because the microphone's getting really wet um, but I'm no doubt we'll get up this lock don't want to speak too soon let's touch wood and we're just gonna park up by zero and we'll see you next time thank you for watching subscribe if you're new and like it only if you liked it Stop.